Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up a full R suite on Windows. Now there are a lot of tutorials out there on this, but a lot of them are too advanced for a lot of people. I had good success on YouTube last time making a very easy to follow guide setting up these applications the noobs way or a way that a noob can do it. We're going to be doing it on Windows just because it's very easy to do there. You can also take these same methods and do it on darker other Linux based systems if you want to. And that's definitely an option for you. Windows though is the most popular operating system. And a lot of people just want to do it on that because it's what they have available. All right guys, so first thing we're going to do is start with a visual explanation since I do find that this helps how to explain how to use these different things. And here we have our explanation here in our little diagram. All right guys, so the first thing we're going to be focusing on is the first three applications we need. It's going to be Prowler, Radar, and Sonar. Now, if you haven't heard of Prowler, it's basically the same thing as Jacket, but it integrates very easily with these two applications, Radar and Sonar. Now, what exactly is Prowler, Radar, and Sonar? Well, Prowler is basically a thing that kind of crawls the internet and finds torrent files uh, for you automatically. This means you don't have to search for them and spend your own time doing it, and this is very handy. What is Radar? Well, Radar is basically a way for you to queue and tell what movie or show public domain of course by the way guys i do not endorse downloading any illegal or copyright protected material I always download responsibly and in this video we're also going to be only using public domain or archived content that has no copyright restrictions so just keep that in mind always follows the laws in your country but radar what it does is allows you to search for a movie sonar what it does is allows you to search for a tv show and then these will talk to Prowler. Prowler will begin looking around for that TV show and then it will start downloading it. But how does it download it? Well, these two applications are gonna to connect to something called Qubit Torrent. Now, Qubit Torrent is just one torrent application you can use, but it's my favorite one to use since I'm very familiar with it. It's free, no ads or anything on it like that and open source, so definitely solid to use. Um, you're gonna be using Qubit Torrent to download these torrent files. Now, you are gonna to wanna to anonymize your um, activity you could do this through VPN, or my preferred method is Soxify Proxy. The good news about Soxify Proxy is you just put in your credentials into QBitTorrent, you pretty much save it, and you're pretty much good to go. You don't have to worry about kill switches, split tunneling, or anything like that. Soxify Proxy is gonna hide your IP and anonymize you to your ISP. Um, so, I recommend NordVPN. I formerly recommended TorGuard in my last tutorial. It's definitely a good bu budget option. I'll also be putting a link for that in the description down below. However, lately I've experienced better speeds with NordVPN. Um, they really do have pretty good speeds for their Soxify proxies. If you want to maximize your connection, I would recommend going for them with for now, at least in this video. And I'll be putting a link in the description, like I said, for Nord down below. Should get you the best ongoing deal with Nord. I am not sponsored by Nord at all, and they're not paying me to be in this video. Next up, guys, so when your torrent application downloads the file, where is it going to go? Well, that's going to be a folder on your computer, and you want it to be a file structure just like this one. If you don't have one like this, you might run into some errors. You want downloads, so your Qubit torrent is going to put the file into downloads. TV shows is going to be linked to Sonar. Movies is going to be linked to Radar. Now, it's Sonar and Radar are kind of smart enough to like see that download and then move it into the right file. I think that's how it works. Um, so this is pretty much what you want to do in terms of the file structure. So Qubit Torrent's going to go to downloads and then Sonar and Radar are going to be able to figure it out and move it to the right place. All right, guys, so the next step is, is going to be using a media server and it kind of depends on you again, which one you want to use. I would recommend using MB. MB is kind of the de facto choice. You might've heard of Jellyfin. It's also another popular choice. Jellyfin is actually an offshoot of the open source MB. And actually find Je Jellyfin, we'll talk about more in this community, is not as good. I think Ellie, MB is easier to use. It's easier to troubleshoot and it has more widely available apps, which I do like a lot. Um, it can even uh, do, do various things like sometimes if you're having issue with connection, it can try to reboot your computer or wake up the computer. I don't think Jellyfin has that. So there's some really cool little features like that with MB and it's just easier to set up in my preferred way. This is gonna make it so you can pretty much host your media server on your computer. Then if you're downstairs, you can connect to it with that application and watch the stuff that's on your computer without the need of an HMI cable or, or anything like that. 
Of course, there are also other ways you could do it, just making a plain media server on your computer, accessing those files and stuff like that. MB just makes a very nice visual presentation of your media server. So that is my preferred way of doing it. So guys, this was the visual overview of how to do that. And you can see that right here. You might want to screenshot this if you're doing it in your process and trying to figure it out. I think it really does help having a visual layout to understand how it all kind of connects. All right, guys, so this is now going to be the breakdown and steps that we are going to do in this video. Um, so first, we're going to have to download the different applications. We're going to set up the VPN. We're going to create our file structure. We're going to make sure our IP is encrypted and hidden in QBitTorrent. We're going to add indexers to Prowler so it could find torrent files. We're going to connect Radar and Sonar to QBitTorrent so it can download stuff for you. We're going to make sure connections are working by testing them. And we're going to be downloading MB to show you how to use it with your media server. And finally, you might need to double check some things to make sure everything's running and available locally, like opening some ports on Windows, um, local ports, and making sure network sharing is available. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, the first thing you're going to do is download Prowler. You're going to be able to find that github.com slash Prowler. I'll be putting a link in the description down below. Sometimes GitHub can be hard to use for some people. I know when I first found it years and years ago, I was like, well, how the hell do I download anything? I don't see a download button. You just find that up here, right here. You click by releases and then you find your operating system. So if you're on Windows, you're probably going to be wanting to download this Windows Core 64 installer.exe. Next up, you're going to be downloading Sonar. Um, you can find that at sonar.tv. Now remember, it's two R's like R like a pirate, although this video has nothing to do with pirating, right? We're only downloading public domain content that is copyright free um, and Linux ISOs if you want to download those too, those are free. So you're going to click download here with this one and download the Windows installer. Next up, we're going to be downloading Radar and you'll find that at radar.video, just like Sonar, sonar.tv, radar.video. It's going to be the same thing as Sonar pretty much. You're going to be downloading it right here. So very easy. Now, the interesting thing about these applications is they're a little different than the applications you might be used to. Um, that's because they kind of work in your web browser and they work by the address of local host, which is your local host or your IP address of your computer. And then the port is 8989. This port is um, how you access it and kind of get to the address. Um, so you could either go to that, your computer and type in, you know, to the search bar for radar and it will open up the website or you could go to that address as well. Just remember, you don't want to have HTTPS um, because it's not using SSL. It's just using this locally, although you can set it up to let your friends use it if you want to. But we're not going to really be covering that advanced technique in this video. However, later on, we could talk about how to integrate it with Discord if you're interested with that, because that can be very useful. So guys, let's go ahead and go back to our diagram. We have now finished the first three steps, downloading the applications. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, you're gonna to wanna to get QBitTorrent, and you can find that at qbittorrent.org. You're gonna click here and go to download and find the version for your operating system. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, I am kind of known as the VPN guy and we don't use any sponsorships on the channel. We don't even have any YouTube ads. For this video, I'm going to be recommending NordVPN. It's my number three ranked VPN, but specifically for this video, I think it is the right choice. If you want to help support the channel and get the best price, click on the link in the description down below. We're going to be using this link on vpn where you could find my transparent rating system. You pretty much go to get the deal here if you want to get that deal from my link and then you're going to pick the plan you want i would recommend usually a longer term package since you do get a bit a better deal and you can even get some extras like cloud storage and password management and stuff like that which could be pretty cool but the main plan is fine for our needs since we just need the Sox 5 proxy. Once you download and buy NordVPN, you could go to your account panel and we're going to be showing you how to get the proxy stuff in a bit. However, what you're going to have to do next is create a file structure. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm just going to be creating an example file here on my desktop. Uh, we're just going to right click and do folder. Um, so let's, let's call this folder. Um, let's call this folder, it's going to be called, let's call it like something like media. All right, so media. Now here is how we're gonna create the structure. You're gonna wanna make it like this. So it's gonna be downloads. Next up, we're gonna do TV shows. Next up, we're gonna be doing 
movies. All right, and that's all there is to it for this section. All right, guys, so we're now done with number six. Uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is put the Stocks 5 credentials in Qubit Torrent. And what you're gonna do there is you're gonna have to go into your Nord account panel, and we'll do that right now. Now, the way it works with Nord, it's a little bit different than some of the other VPN providers that provide proxies, is what you can do, you go to your main account panel here, you go to View Details, you go to Set Up Nord Manually, and then you're gonna verify your account here through your email address. We're gonna type in our code. And now this is gonna be your credentials you're gonna to wanna to use. You're gonna to wanna to copy and paste this username and password since this is how you use a proxy. Next up, we're also gonna need an address for a proxy and I'll be putting a link for this in the description down below. Or you can Google or use whatever search engine you want to look up Nord's SOX 5 proxy list. So for this video, we're gonna be using the US General SOX location and you can just copy this address. You should have Qubit Torrent downloaded and installed and it's gonna look like this. What you're gonna do is go to Tools, Options, and then you're gonna to go to Connection. Make sure to pick SOX 5 right here. And then for the host, you're gonna put in uh, one of these. So if we're just pick this one for this video, just pick the one that's closest to your location. So you put in the host right here, pick port 1080, right, or you could click all these boxes here. And now we're gonna find our username and password. So you just copy these two, put them in right here and click apply and okay. And that's really all there is to it for setting up the proxy. And you can see why I recommend doing that over VPN a lot of the time. The bonus is you can also set this up in Docker kind of things without needing to worry about VPN or even on a server too. So it's very easy to do that. All right, so we're now we're finished with step number seven. And now the next thing we wanna do is add indexes. Um, but we also do want to connect Qubit Torrent to the applications and we'll do that in a second. Um, but you should have Prowler installed. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. One thing I did wanna mention is you wanna make sure you set up all these apps to start automatically. That way they will start up with your computer and your media server doesn't have any interruptions. So, and you also wanna enable access from other devices. So let's go ahead and start Prowler. All right guys, so this is what Prowler looks like and these are some of the indexers I've added as an example. And what you can do is pretty much start adding indexes. So you can pick the indexes here and find any torrent website you want and go ahead and add them and filter them. Pretty much all you're gonna do is just click on it and add it there and that's pretty much as simple as it is. You just click save and add it and then you add as many as you want. But what we need to do next is we wanna make sure they're connected to the other applications. This is gonna search these websites and kinda of tell the other applications how to download that file. So what you do is you go to settings and then you go to apps. And as you can see here, I already have set it up with radar and sonar. But the way to do it is you just click on this little plus icon, you pick radar, and then that's pretty much all there is to it. But you're gonna to wanna to find the API key. Now the API key is just generally found in their settings slash general area. You go to settings, you go to general, and then just copy the API key here and come back to Prowler and save. Once you do that, you should be able to have radar and sonar both added and then you could click this little test button. If there's a green check mark here, it means you've set up everything correctly. So that's all there is pretty much to connecting these applications together. They work very seamlessly and very nicely. So the next thing we need to do though, guys, is make sure these applications are connected to QBitTorrent so it can download correctly. All you have to do to do this is go to settings and sonar and radar. You have to set it up in both applications. Go to download clients, and then you're pretty much just gonna select QBitTorrent. Um, you're pretty much just gonna leave this all as is. Um, you don't really have to do anything here at all, and you're just gonna click save. However, there is one setting you do need to enable to make sure that it can kind of control and interact with QBitTorrent. All you need to do is go to the web UI section of QBitTorrent, and you're pretty much just gonna enable this, web user interface remote control, localhost 880. So if that is enabled, you should be able to connect it just like this, as I showed before. See, localhost in 880. Once you do that, you can click test and make sure that it's connected and interfacing with QBitTorrent as an application. All right, guys, now we've pretty much done a number of the steps. We've added the indexers to Prowler so it could find the torrents. We've shown you how to do that. We've connected it to both applications 
and we've connected both radar and sonar to Qubit Torrent. Remember, just make sure to do it in both ones and test the connection and to enable that remote feature. Like I said, to test the connections. Now you need to download MB. Now MB is extremely easy to set up and this is kind of what it looks like. Um, you're pretty much just going to, I'm not gonna really go over this too much since it's so easy. You pretty much just download it and install it and you're gonna point the media management to that file structure we created before. Um, you're really gonna want it to be um, in that section. It's just gonna scan those files and add it to um, the server so you could watch them. So pretty easy there. There's one thing I did kind of want to mention though before is we do need to set up um, the kind of media management. And that's where we're gonna do it here. Go to settings and media management. So this is gonna make sure to find the right folders. Um, we do want to set it in, remember I made that media folder? So you're gonna set sonar to media slash shows. And then with radar, you're gonna set it to media slash um, movies. And then Qubit Torrent, you're gonna to wanna to set it into that download section. So the media folder and then the downloads folder. So like I showed you guys originally, here is my thing. So Qubit Torrent's gonna to download the files here. It's going to know to move the files into shows and then radar is gonna be looking at movies. Now I do believe the way it works is that since the media file or folder, it, it's kind of like in it, it kind of scans all these and kind of allocates them to the appropriate structure. That's probably one of the cooler parts about Sonar and Radar is how it just kind of does that very smartly. All right, guys, there is one more thing I did want to mention in this tutorial, and it's this pretty cool thing called Requester. You can find this on GitHub. Um, it's like request with two R's, so kind of like the R thing. Um, basically, what this does is a way that you can interact uh, very easily uh, with this kind of uh, setup that I described in this video. Pretty much what you can do, it, it sets up like a bot, and then you can just ask the bot to download whatever public domain content you want or whatever Linux ISO you want. Uh, and then it will just start downloading it and interface with it. So the cool thing about it is it does work on pretty much every platform. Uh, you can see the releases here is it works on Windows and everything like this. Um, and they do a pretty good documentation, I do believe, um, to set it up. It wasn't too hard. Um, you can see that it does have this wiki here. Uh, very detailed, very easy to set up. Um, it doesn't seem to work currently with Apple Siri, um, but it's pretty cool. You don't really need this if you don't want to. You can always just go to radar or sonar and type in the, the thing you want um, to download it. And then, of course, Prowler will begin looking around. It'll download to your Qubit torrent and put it in the appropriate file structure. And then you can watch it on your media server like always. This is just like a cool little way to get it working with Discord, uh, especially if you're sharing the server with someone else or something like that. So definitely something worth checking out. Um, like I said, there's plenty of documentation for this right here on this page.